Hi, I'm Nikki Culver. I'm the FAM Director at Rock of Grace. Um, at Rock of Grace, we have a huge vision to see trans, like Trumbull County transformed and that every child would have a loving home. So in America, it's easy to think that we have everything under control, that it's Africa, it's South Africa, it's uh, China that has an orphan problem. But in the United States, we actually have around 400,000 orphans. And this is huge, this is insane. And it's something that we can make a huge positive impact about. So at Rock of Grace, we have put in um, motion care communities for foster families and just to bring awareness to the problem that we really have. Ohio has 16,000 children in foster care. So that would fill the Cavelli Center four times, which is mind blowing to me. In foster care, these kids live in a vicious cycle that may never be broken, but as God's word says in James 1.27, to go to the orphan and the widow in their affliction, that is pure and undefiled religion. So God is challenging us to step up to the plate and make a difference in these kids' lives. And at Rock of Grace, we are trying to do just that. So with FAM, we um, provide two meals a month. We obviously pray for each family and lift them up on what they're going through and and all that they're facing together as a family, but even these children and, and their futures. And we also provide respite and cleaning once a month. And we can use everybody, whether you like to cook, whether you like to clean, maybe just babysit for a couple hours, whatever it is, you can make a huge impact and we could use you and your help. God has gifted us all with something unique and we all are valuable and these children are valuable and we can change the trajectory of their life, where it would go if they were still living in the system. So males that age out of the system are 60% more likely to end up in prison. And it was actually just reading a statistic that said um, those people, that 80% of them will end up on death row, that 50% um, will only graduate high school, only 3% receiving a college degree, 70% of all human trafficking victims once we're in the system, and it all comes back to identity. They have no identity, they only know the things that have happened to them, but we can come alongside them as the church and come alongside these families and we can change that. We can sow Jesus' identity into them and what God has actually has for them and what God is calling them to and give them a firm foundation of love and of Jesus and everything changes after that. So we just ask that you would help us make a difference because you can make a difference and we as a church would love to make a difference and transform Trumbull and give every child a loving home. As Nikki stated, the need is really great. And so often we just ignore the needs that are right in our backyard. But the Bible tells us that God puts the orphan in families. In Psalm 65, he makes it clear that this is his heart, that everyone would know how deeply and genuinely they are loved by Father God. And so I just want to let you know this is an amazing opportunity for you to jump in and serve. A lot of times we don't know where we can serve. Uh, this is a great place to do that. Um, there's ways that you can actually even mentor. So if you're not ready to take in a child into your home, maybe the space or the season isn't right, um, you can even mentor a child or a teen who is living at TCCS and needs that positive role model, uh, needs that affirmation, needs that love. While the need is great, I do want to share with you the progress that we should be celebrating. We have had 11 couples at Rock of Grace say yes to fostering. We've had 46 kids come into care as a foster child. We've had over 50 become respite uh, kids that are just there for the weekend. I know our family alone, we've had 15 or 20 and every foster family will bring in an extra child for respite sometimes for a weekend. We've had 10 adoptions, which is amazing. And my favorite thing is three salvations. I want to tell you about one of those salvations. I'm going to change her name to protect the privacy of the families involved. But there's a woman, we'll call her Sarah. She had her children removed uh, for the safety of the children because of her drug addiction. That couple in our church who was able to take in that child and love that child reached out and loved that biological mom, cared for her, visited her, took had meals with her invited her to church and this is incredible she's one of the three biological parents who received christ it in our rock of grace worship services i'll never forget the day when i looked out and I, in the middle of the sermon i saw her sitting there 
next to the foster families, she raised her hand, tears coming down her eyes, and she gave her heart to Christ. That woman is no longer with us, but think about this, she is in heaven, in the presence of Jesus, because that foster family, a regular family, no, no theological degree, no seminary degree on the wall, right? Just a regular family at a regular church said, I'm gonna love well. Not only loved that, that foster child, but that child's mom and treated her with the dignity and respect that Father God treats everyone. So it's time for the church to rise up. It's time for the church to say, hey, I can't turn a blind eye anymore to the needs in my backyard. Uh, a lot of times we think the mission field is Africa, but like Nikki said, sometimes it's in our backyard. So let's see the kingdom of God be built. Let's transform Trumbull. And this is going to be an amazing journey as we see every child given a safe and loving home.